Back on the scene, y'all. Here to do another pick a card. This is the Witness Protection Edition. Cause look, I ain't trying to have no problems with Facebook. I ain't, I ain't trying to have no problems with Facebook or the owner of the these people. So Witness Protection Edition. So question is gonna be what's headed your way. And First reading is going to be Rashad Jenkins, Witness Protection Edition. First reading, Rashad Jenkins. Yeah, I'm not finna, I don't want no problems with YouTube or Disney. So, second, Rover, Witness Protection Edition. We got Rover for reading number two, and for reading number three, we got Miss Bonquisha up in here. Hey, 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 Third reading, Bonquisha. So, keep in mind, this is a general reading, guys. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please subscribe to the channel. Like, share, comment. If it doesn't resonate, you gotta find another reading or another reader. If it does resonate, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I had nothing for that. Um, because it's a general reading, roles may be reversed. You got to take the pieces that fit and let everything else fly. So, we're going to set the cards down in front of our witness protection folk. And we're going to take a deep breath on three. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be Rashad Jenkins? Is it going to be Rover? Or is it going to be Bonquisha? What's headed towards you? What's headed your way? What's coming? What's coming? Last day of 2018, y'all. Hey. Hey. I had a comment the other day that said I was clumsy and irritating. <laughs> they got blocked. <laughs> You must be jelly. I hope they found another way up in here so they can hear me say, you got, you got a little bit of jelly on you. Hey, hey. With your frog face fucking ass. Get the hell on up out of here. We don't need it and we don't want it, but we about to start. So let's go ahead and begin with Rashad. Reading number one, universe. People who chose reading number one. What is headed their way? What is Rashad bringing to them, universe? Ooh, first card. We have the Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands, first card. Universe, people who chose reading number one with Rashad Jenkins. What's headed their way? You got the Six of Swords. Somebody is getting tired of somebody's shit. And read number three. You got the father. The father. 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 Bottom of the deck, you have the two of cups here. Hey. So what I see here is that there's a shift happening. There is a shift happening. So what's coming your way is... um, I feel like... One or two things is happening because to me, this is the basis of the reading, right? This is the overall arching energy. So one or two things hap is happening. Somebody is moving towards the other person. Now, whether or not it is the queen of wands moving to the father or the father moving to the queen of wands, um, somebody is moving towards someone. I feel like you see her throne. What they look like to you? What that look like? It ain't no stone. It's it, well, I guess it is a stone. It's a stone cold hard penis. Um, and behind him, you see that explosion that's happening there. That I feel like the divine masculine is moving towards the divine feminine. That's what I feel like. I feel like someone is moving towards someone. You may be having like some really like you may go on a date tonight. You may have hot sex tonight, and it will be explosive. Um, that's what I feel like is headed your way. Headed, get it? Ha! <laughs> this could be somebody <laughs> that you miss. 
um, someone that you recently had a separation with and maybe you get a text message tonight or maybe you get a call tonight. Um, someone who's really been stuck in their head about you, really been um, thinking about how they took this relationship for granted and really wants to get the rocks off. Hey, hey, Ace of Wands there. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like if that happens, I don't feel like it will automatically set you guys back on like a straight and narrow path. I still feel like there's a ton of work to do because look at this ocean that they're in. It's pretty vast. That's a lot of water. So there's a lot of healing that needs to take place here. Um, I feel like he's upset about something. Now, this could be a woman. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, but I feel like someone has been crying Someone, someone is more emotional than the other. Someone is more balanced than the other. And I feel like there's something that you all need to talk about and get off your chest. So um, if you do rush into like some makeup sex or something like that, there's still some type of healing that needs to happen between this union. And I do feel like it is um, a divine connection. I do feel like it's a divine connection. Um, but I, I do feel like there is still some indecisiveness in regards to um, the stability of it all, the creating the stability, a foundation, moving forward with one another. I just feel like what's coming towards you now is some type of, it, and it could start off with like, um, it could start off with like just a simple, hey, how you doing? Simple, you know, like you want to get together? Something really simple, something really cut and dry, something that, um, Something that will make for a very explosive time. But I feel like the healing that needs to take place can take place. I do feel that. So just so you know that, I do feel that. I feel like somebody has really been feeling alone lately. And um, yeah, like they want to come forward. They want to talk to you. They want to, um, they want to make love to you, really. So they've been contemplating it on a Nile and not the Nile River. You know what I'm talking about? So anyway, y'all, Rashad said, let's get it on. Hey, oh, oh, let's get it on. Let's love, baby. Hey, let's get it on. Sugar. Let's get it on. Hey, all right. So if you chose Rashad, read number one. That's what I got for you. Let's move on to Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send my tribe right over. Universe, people who chose reading number two, Rover. What's headed their way? What's headed their way? People who chose reading number two, what's headed their way? First car. You got a foot rub coming. Number two. Number two. King of Shields. Reading number two. Universe. People who chose. Whoa. Two cards pop out. I'm going to take them both. You got the Queen of Swords. And you got the Food card. Oh. I like this, guys. I feel like there's going to be like um room for conversation tonight. It's going to. Some new energy coming in. We flooding it. We flooding it. All right. So people who chose Rover, this is what I have for you. This is what I have for you. Uh, 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 uh. This is what I have for you. Is you ready? So I feel like someone has been thinking about you and they have been thinking about the way that you've taken care of them, the way that you nurtured them, the way that you um, worried about them, the way that you made them a bologna sandwich if they still eat that shit. I hope you fried it because I don't eat bologna. I ain't ate bologna in years. But if you do eat bologna still, I hope it's a fried bologna sandwich because I would come through for that. You know what I'm talking about? But um, I do feel as though this person who misses being nurtured and catered to really like you really cater to this person look you guys are a couple you got the king and queen of pentacles here you really cater to this person you really really gave your all and then you was like oh but i ain't getting nothing back fuck you gotta go bye 
went into witness protection. Red Rover, Red Rover, send my queen back over. And they are wanting to reach out to you at this time. They are wanting to take a leap of faith and communicate with you in regards to this connection, in regards to what you all had. And they want to do it very swiftly. I would not be surprised if y'all got a text message tonight. Happy New Year's. How are you? Or some bullshit like that just to fill you out. They want to come back around. They're, they've been inspired to come back around. I feel like they've been around some couples that have inspired them some love or you know after after you all separated if you guys separated or after this fight could have been a fight something like that after whatever happened happened they want to come back around and they want to talk to you but they don't know if you're in the hangman position or not and they don't know if you're gonna be like all queen of swordsy like chop 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 i'm sick of this shit i'm sick of this shit i rubbed your feet and you didn't do nothing for me. Like they don't know, they don't know how they'll be received and that's slowing them down. But I do feel like they are going to take on the energy of the fool here. And I feel like they are going to jump off that cliff and just take a plunge, take a risk. I really do. I feel like they're just going to take a risk and be like, mm, only way to find out is if I do it, hit sin. Or they're going to have one too many beers tonight. And they're going to be like, yup, let's do it. Let's send a message. Let's send a message. Red Rover, Red Rover. Yeah. And they're going to send a message. So I feel like you're going to get some communication. Um, I feel like it's something you've been waiting for, too. Um, and I feel like it'll be very cathartic. Very cathartic. Whatever they send, it'll, it'll be like you'll be able to breathe again because I feel like you miss them, too. But you just wanted them to appreciate you and what you all had. So, Yeah. I do feel like a reconciliation is what's headed your way. Communication. And we is done, done, done with Rova. And now we gonna move on to Bonquisha. 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 What you got for us? People who chose Bonquisha universe. Moon card. Holding something back. Holding back the doom. I'll keep holding on. Universe. Eight of shields, Hyun. Eight of shields. Universe. I can't even get the question out. Hierophant. All these relationships. I was trying to make this a general. This is relationships again. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the mother card or the empress. So, one, somebody could be pregnant. That's the first thing. But I feel like somebody was going through some something that they were keeping a secret. Like somebody was going through some type of trial or tribulation that they were keeping a secret from the other. And they were doing their best to work their way through this alone. Um... And really not allowing the other person in, which caused a little bit of conflict because the other person was willing to be there for them. The other person was willing to show up for them. The other person was like, yeah, um, I'm here. Like, I'm here. Um, and it it would have caused you to, or or maybe the other person, maybe the roles are reversed. It would have caused you all to go into like the hangman stands because you would have to show yourself vulnerable to this person and you didn't know how you felt about that because you would be knocked off your high horse into this page of cups energy and so you you what's headed your way is you are being or the other person if the roles are reversed you are being gifted with um learning how to work with another learning how to ask for help learning how to um, accept help, learning how to be vulnerable, learning how to fully invest in this relationship, learning how to, um, let your ego go and not feel that you have to go through this world alone, like learning, learning to let people in learning, whether it's your friends, whether this is a relationship, um, whatever ship, whatever ship you is on, Bonquisha, you're learning how to sail with another. You don't always got to navigate these seas by yourself. Yeah, look at this. You're learning how to do this with others. 
You're learning how to celebrate with others. You're learning how to be happy with others. You're learning how to create with the others. You had some heartbreak in the past. Somebody really hurt you and it caused you to deal with shit on your own. But the universe is like, nah, you don't got to do that no more. Bonquisha. Bonquisha, you don't got to do that no more. New opportunities. That's going to elevate you guys too. So there's an elevation headed your way as well because... Through working together like this, you are going to be catapulted into a new trajectory with another or others. Y'all all in witness protection together. Y'all in this thing together. Ain't no snitches up in my camp. Ain't no squares in my circle. You hear me? Y'all in witness protection together. If we gonna snitch and sing like a canary, we gonna do it together in harmony. Five part harmony. Five part harmony. You hear me? So that's what I got for y'all. Really good stuff coming your way. Room to grow. What more could you ask for? So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Comment. And I will talk to you soon.